Welcome to Vacuum Wars. So with the new year fast approaching and the Consumer Electronics Show right around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to give my predictions on the future of robot vacuum technologies for the year 2025 and beyond. Some of my predictions are more likely than others, but I thought it would be fun either way. My first prediction is that I expect the adoption of robot vacuums by the average consumer to continue to skyrocket as the core robot vacuum technology costs continue to fall. To say it another way, I think that vacuum, mop, combo smart navigation robot vacuums with obstacle avoidance and mop washing auto empty stations will start to be priced in the mid-level range for the first time in 2025. And once that happens and the average consumer can see how much easier it is to have a robot vacuum and mop their floors, I think that eventually robot vacuums will be more common than any other type of vacuum in the average home. My second prediction is that we will start to see the incorporation of large large language models like ChatGPT into robot vacuum systems. Over the last year or two, we've seen that robot vacuum companies are starting to have their own voice assistants. But currently, those assistants aren't a whole lot better than Amazon Alexa. They're mostly just pre-programmed commands that the robot can follow. But I think that very soon, large language models will be incorporated into robot vacuums so that you can tell the robot to do specific things that it was not programmed to do. So it would use natural language from the user in combination with what it knows about the user's floor plan to accomplish various tasks. And the robots would communicate with the users in natural language as well, explaining what it did and why. Another prediction is that we will start to see more subscription-based plans, where you would pay a certain amount a month to get a high-end robot vacuum. This would include all the necessary bags and extra brushes and things that you would need, but most importantly, it would include free maintenance and an upgrade to the latest model every other year or something like that. A few companies have been testing this out, but it's not very popular at the moment from what I can tell. But a subscription-based plan would make it much easier to keep the user upgraded to the latest model, which is important in a rapidly changing market like the robot vacuum market is. At the same time, it might incentivize robot vacuum manufacturers to make products that are longer lasting or have interchangeable replaceable parts. Another easy prediction is that robot vacuum obstacle avoidance systems are going to get a lot better in 2025. 2024 was the year that we finally started seeing robots get very good at recognizing and avoiding obstacles, and I started to see the first perfect scores in our obstacle avoidance tests. But near-perfect scores on that test are still the exception and not the rule. In addition, as they get smarter and the training data gets better, I expect this to exponentially improve, especially as true AI starts to be incorporated. Another prediction is the rise of home plumbing integrated robot vacuums, which I call Plumbots. So far, I've tested three of these robot vacuums with built-in plumbing, where they automatically refill their mop tanks from your house's clean water supply and empty their dirty water tanks into the house's drainage system. I've seen them attached to washer-dryer combos at CES last year, but mostly they've been standalone units. The problem is that it's kind of hard to find a place in the home where they really make sense and are out of the way. So I predict that someone will come up with a solution that checks all the boxes. Maybe they will be built into major appliances like washing machines, which already have plumbing, or maybe they'll be directly integrated into houses. The problem is that the life cycle of those two machines is very different. The robot vacuum would wear out or become obsolete way before the washing machine would. So you would really need to be able to replace or swap out the robot vacuum module in a unit like that. This is another area where a subscription model might be the best choice. Finally, my most speculative prediction is that there will be a stair climbing robot vacuum that will make it to market in the next year or two. There was a stair climbing robot, the Mego Ascender, which made it through early testing and we did a video on it in 2024, but it never ended up making it to market. And unfortunately, I don't know the reason why. I'm not sure if there was some fundamental flaw in its stair climbing ability or some patent issues or funding or all of the above, but I do know that stairs 
stairs are currently a major blind spot for robot vacuums, and it's not like stairs don't get dirty. They're one of the most high traffic areas of your floors. So even if you had two robot vacuums, one for the upstairs and one for the downstairs, you'd still need a third vacuum to clean your stairs. I don't see any reason why something like the Mego Ascender couldn't work, but I might be missing something. Nevertheless, I expect somebody to give it a try very soon. So that's it for my predictions. Let me know in the comments if you have any crazy predictions you'd like to add to this list for 2025 and beyond. Either way, the future of robot vacuums looks bright and we'll be here testing and reviewing them every step of the way. Be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave and thanks for watching. All of the links in the description are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. You'll also find links to the Vacuum Wars website in the description where we have more detailed lists of our favorite products like our new top 20 robot vacuums list which is updated weekly.